Let's not even talk about dial up. <laughs> Dude, it would take to <laughs> We're there with the NFTs and the, you know, we're moving with the TikToks. Yeah, yeah. You've made so much that people can do nothing but hear you. <laughs> no one needs to know that I got guys. <laughs> yeah. So, so what we were talking about before we started rolling was the kids. Mm. The kids. And the kids being 2000 onwards, considered kids. I'd say even in the 90s, late 90s, possibly. Okay, late nineties. Yeah. Okay, maybe that maybe late nineties for us is oh is young, yeah. but late nineties now the kids mm. it's kind of they are the older brothers and the older cousins are nineties. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I get to you. them that's yeah. So, so what are we doing? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get that. That's what they call it. I get that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I get I get OG a lot. OG, oh, yeah, uncle, like, uncle, 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 yeah, one. uncles, yeah. That's really... I think it that, burns me. That's now, who bro. we are now, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh! So yeah, we were talking we were talking about the difference between what they have now mm. and what we have, and that was kicked off by the fact that uh, cameraman behind who can't who you can't see is born in two thousand and three. He just hit a verse. He just rapped. He was shooting our session and he was taking photos so he has three skills that he's developed and been able to develop before even passing matric which we know for us even if we had wanted to at that stage and we were sure of what we want to do it would have been very hard to develop those skills yeah internet was a problem we had dial up um <laughs> let's not even talk about dial up because it's not even worth mentioning <laughs> no, speeds oh, on no. dial up <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it would take two. <laughs> How do you struggle for thirty-five <gasps> minutes to download one song? Ding, 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 <laughs> Bruh, that was the that was the dial-up uh, ringtone. And that internet was connected to phones and landlines. To the la- yeah, and that was landline. <laughs> phone. Who uses a phone? Tele- when was the last time you saw a telephone? In someone's house, especially. It's been, it's so been a while. no cell phones, no speedy internet no space we were talking about flash drives when they first came out you'd be charged an arm and a leg for 128 megabytes and <laughs> now you have a flash drive that is like gigs on gigs on gigs uh. maybe even terabyte and externals that are like space galore and the price also because now it's it's when it was rare they were char- they were able to charge you so much just for space now it's like okay you can get a terabyte for what, 800 rand mm, no it's it's very very cheap very, very well. It depends where you buy it from, but... When terabytes did first come out, I remember there were thousands. Oh, shoot, yeah. Remember that, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so all of this stuff, man, they have it. But the difference is, is that... How do you use it? I think even before we get there, there's... Being tired. Look, we, we say we're old. Yeah, yeah. And I think we're old in the fact that we've seen, we've seen change. I mean, we've mentioned dial-up now, you've mentioned we discs as well as another thing. Mm. Things like, like VHS and stuff like that that we had to go through to get to where we are now. And technology very quickly just sped up. And we've gotten to a point now where we're kind of like, okay, cool, we're still trying to keep up. Like, we, we're there with it. We're there with the NFTs and the, you know, we're moving with the TikToks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're moving with it still. But there's going to come a point where we're just going to lose even more steam and we're going to become our parents. Yeah and the so thing with the kids too much for us mm. that's the thing it's gonna be so now the thing with the kids is that they have they've got that image firstly they don't that they don't have that thing of the past there's no vhs there there's no a track they didn't have to sit there with the things and you know whatever they didn't have any of those things so now they're fresh still yeah and now they've got what we wanted being able to work in a space like this it's cheaper it's a lot more accessible and the information information as information well. learning information faster so big. Yeah, so in that, they're then able to then, you know, we're then able to pass, I don't want to say pass the baton on, Mm. because it's not a case of old people, young people, hand it over, Mm. let them go. I know there's always that debate to say who should be doing what, but there's always room for that collaboration to say, look, I have loads of experience. I've seen a lot and you have a lot of energy and this stuff, you understand it very, very quickly. Let's work together. Let me let me show you what hasn't worked for me yeah. so that you don't waste your time with certain things. And you can very, very quickly pick out your things. Or maybe you can do the very same thing that I did 30 times better. I can bet you if I brought a person 10 years younger version of me in here, I don't even know what they would do. Yeah, it would be, be amazing. It's scary. Yeah, it would be amazing. 
to first of all you walk through the door and you've got equipment that you've never seen because that's that's what we were is we would never see we never we were never even put in a position to see it you know what i mean like you can like something from a distance we all like our our sports like uh premier league we don't live in england but it's gonna you know that if you were to go there and actually walk into the stadium because you you never got your experience mm. you know physically what it's like or to even see it and and see how big a stadium is or whatever it is um you don't get those things until you actually go to one mm. so it's the same thing with this whereas now it's like they don't need to mm, they don't need this. to be in a they don't need to like physically this. see this because every piece of this there's 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 a musician in a room with a lot of this gear mm. if not all of it all in of some it, rooms yeah. everyone can have this gear so practically then for someone who is watching this who is in a young age group maybe not even age group practically Mm. how can they use it the little that they do have not even or the little, if they were just to what's get... what's what, what we've spoken about the difference in our worlds that we didn't have mm. now what's available in their worlds because the main thing is to if you're a musician is to get your songs made and heard mm. those are the two things mm. practically for someone who is watching how why would you say what little tools I mean, I've got some, and there's some that we've actually spoken about already. Mm -hmm. But like, what what practically can you do? I wake up in the morning, and what can I do? How do I use these things that are available to me to make it to make it in the mm -hmm. music industry? Oh man, I'm just thinking about the fact that I'm. You know, you, you asked that question, but I'm just thinking about everything that you're asking. I'm thinking about the stuff that we didn't do. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about the things that we got wrong, or not got wrong. I'm saying it like we don't even have a chance to fix it. But things like working in a team. Mm. being able to you have you've got so many opportunities now to collaborate not necessarily the way we were because our our meeting was we met physically and yeah, then from there yeah. eventually we ended up making music but being able to collaborate on such a mass scale you've got internet now people can communicate with one another and they can use those resources to you know propel themselves forward and it then makes it makes production easier because now they can produ produce on a mass scale whereas we would you know we'd save i don't know how it, when when dallas and them were shooting a lot of videos it was like 60 to 100k for them to shoot a video now mm. it's you've just shown us a video of something that was probably on, on a really really small budget I'm, i don't know how much it cost but then that allows you to do mass production really really fast and i think then it also then speaks to the problems that they have now because an issue that we had was because it was so tough for us to get out it was um those of us that did peek our heads out mm. were seen like quite a quite a bit yeah but now they've got a bigger stage but there's so many more content creators so they're fighting against so you're that trying issue. to be seen yeah yeah so they're fighting against that issue and yeah it can get tough but the the, the answer to that is that the only way to shine or well not the only way but the mm. biggest factor mm. determining whether you'll shine in this crowd of people is volume mm -hmm. how much stuff can you make to make sure that you've made so much that people can do nothing but hear you coming mm. like I think that that is it that is the game now is that and volume you mean what volume of what volume of of work of content of everything it's about volume now mm. um if i look at the um, like some of the the rappers that uh, you know make made it in this area in the last two or three years <laughs> <laughs> you good no one needs to know that i got broke guys <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that sure um, if you <laughs> i was like i'm gonna have to gonna reach across there and <laughs> and do something anyway carry on it's fine all of them had this thing about churning out music mm -hmm. whenever i hear their stories i hear something about when he eventually did get into the booth the guy was just recording a song and then he dropped a mixtape then he dropped this then he dropped 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 all of them that's the same theme i see over and over again mm -hmm. it's that thing of they just made so much they couldn't be ignored obviously you have to have skill you have to have right music, you have to have production you have to have all of those things but i think people sit there thinking to themselves that with all of those things that i just mentioned mm. they'll make it so the production um what's it softwares the equipments and things they're like yeah i've got these things now i'm gonna make it it's actually not that mm. it's a volume you could shoot and i've seen it from some people on instagram you could shoot a bunch of freestyles on your phone and you'll get there faster than anyone with this that without is. having recorded one song mm. out of all those freestyles don't even step into the booth 
every time you finish the verse, play a beat, have someone record you on their phone or put your phone up and record the freestyle. It's nice to have everything else because when someone finds your page and they say, yo, I am a fan of this person's work. I just want to see what else he does. Mm. I want to see how he lives. I want to see his friends or some of the stuff he gets up to. That's when the rest of the content matters. But if we're just talking about volume, take your thing, whatever it is. If you're a painter, don't sit on one painting for six months. Mm. Paint a painting every week. I've got a question there because mm. I'm thinking I agree with what you're saying. Mm. But seeing people walking through that door when they come through to record, when we speak about volume, they, they also sort of, it's not that they agree, actually they disagree. The, uh, the argument is that why are we going for volume when we can, instead of doing 30 to 50 to 100, why not do five, but push all of our energy, all of our resources, all of our money into those five particular chances of whatever, whether it's videos, whether it's movies, whether it's pieces of art or whatever. Because when you do five pieces of content mm. or five, whatever it is, songs, videos, thing, you have to push those. You do 30 or 50, people come to you. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. I think that's the biggest difference. And when you push, you've got to push in the right direction, in the right places. It you've got to find go the right... Wrong. You can't go very wrong. You've got to find the right person to plug it. You've got to find the right person. Uh, uh, you've got to find the, a station where people will, have, will want to listen to this music. When you attract people, it's the exact crowd you want. It's the person who's like, who, who presses the follow button because they liked that basic thing you were doing. And anything that you do more is a bonus for them. Mm -hmm. Hit them with the freestyles, hit them with the freestyles. You come with a music video, bonus for them. Now they have something to share of yours that is even higher quality. And they're like, yeah, I've been sharing all these freestyles. Now it's nice to share a music video of, of yours. Mm -hmm. Now it's nice to talk about you as a, a, a being interviewed on a radio station. Now it's nice to talk about you. All, all of these things. So I think the biggest difference is that, yes, you can make five really high quality things, mm -hmm. but you're going to work. You're going to really, really work to push them to people in the right places but you take that opposite and you make 50 bits of not even in terms of quality just good content those 50 bits then come back to to you and it attracts people and then you don't have to work so hard to get it and then the right people are there mm. so your thousand followers are the right it's followers the right yeah you're not just racking up numbers for the sake of racking yeah up you're not just racking up numbers for the sake of um <clears throat> uh racking up numbers i watched the first few minutes of casper's interview on slicker life yesterday mm -hmm. like it was like first 10 15 minutes and one of the things he said was something about he he wishes now that his six million followers equated to six million sales of his products. He said, there's a mismatch. He's like, there's a mismatch. I have six million followers, but I don't have six million sales of my alcohol, my shoes, my everything. And that's because of it. There's, there's people who are there for just because you are you and you did something, but not necessarily to participate. Mm. They just heard about you. And, okay, cool. <laughs> but now, yeah, see. exactly. The real leverage is the people who are there who participate in what mm -hmm. you're doing. And and um, there's hundred thousand people with hundred thousand followers. But if they leveraging all hundred thousand or eighty percent of their followers, they will make more money than anyone with millions of, of followers. And that's the reverse engineering you have to do in your brain. And that will make you focus on the right things because most people want to focus on the wrong things. It's not wrong. But it's just think about your goal and how you want to get there. Mm. You're not going to get there just by having nice equipment and things. Because if you record one song a year or every six months on this nice equipment, mm. it's wasted. Mm. If you record, if you output well on this equipment, yes, then woo, you've got, you've created a money machine for sure. Mm. But I think it's, it's taken me years to realize this. But I think now the kids, back to the kids, they, they definitely know this now. Mm. They I mean, they, they haven't really seen the other side. They haven't been exposed to that. Because when we started making music, the people we followed would only release an album every few years. Yeah. And the there'd, game, be, there'd the be a few things different. here and there. Then the, there was um there was a series of features. I think it was it DJ Khaled and them that we had. I don't know which project it was that we had during Varsity. And there were a lot of songs that popped off there. Mm. But there were these massive, these mega remixes. Actually, mm. the first one I mm. heard was Touch It. Remember that mega mix? Oh, the mega that mix. That had like, yes, 50, yes, like yes, 15 yes, people yes. on it. Yeah. <laughs> They were, in fact they even they broke it was that yes, thing was so smart right, because right. they had um the normal version then they had a version with someone else on it then they had the male version mm. then they had the female yep. version and then they had that like mega mix Ma even Neil found himself on that thing right. dude so yeah that 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 we're used to that old method of being very very like protective over our music and i had to i, I won't lie i haven't fully made the adjustment yet 
to saying mm. I'm going to be able to knock out seven or so different tracks in a very short in, within the space of a month. I it still makes me feel a little bit weird. And even with things like artwork, before even not even that long ago, people would take artwork and it was a it was a serious thing. Like I'm gonna go and spend money get a graphic designer. Yes, thing. true. People are fetching memes now. Yes, they're taking yes. memes and that is the artwork. Yes. they're done. Yes. Uh, so true. You have to pay my money for artwork. It was a service I had not too long ago, but I can't have it anymore because firstly, meme come and meme culture doesn't work. You don't need. But in fact, you don't, you need don't even need. You literally yeah. can. You can go and remember Paint on Microsoft. Uh, what you call it? Windows. Yeah. You could go on there and literally create artwork mm. and no one cares no one cares about the artwork it's mm. the once again it comes down to the volume it's like your followers will take whatever artwork you put on there and if it's an expression of yourself and it applies to the theme that you really created mm. it, it doesn't it doesn't matter That's... um so yeah so i think that whole thing about volume is is everything now mm. i think it's everything like you, people who are good are going unseen because of lack of volume Mm. now it doesn't matter like even now me coming here back in the day i used to have to come here mm -hmm. i used to have to come to you if i wanted to make a song, a song. us coming now i was like let's let's meet up let's this is this is our way of meeting up this is mm. it's not over drinks it's over making a song mm. but technically i don't have to be here but what it can equate to it can equate to also content now mm. added to um content by being here now we're having a discussion we can share a piece of what we do and, mm. and, and instead of it's just being us sitting in our rooms pressing buttons and yeah. pressing record and stuff we've 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 created that but we don't we don't need this we don't need to have it in order to propel ourselves i don't know for producers what else specifically you can do like for us yeah as as, as um, rappers singers on that side of it mm. in front of the mic um we have our little bits that we can do in terms of increasing the volume mm. you did beat challenges mm -hmm. where you challenge yourself to make 50 beats 100 beats mm. in one month did that return what it should have and if not what could you have done um and what else can a producer do because mm. it's different for a producer to do oh dude um with that with those challenges i didn't really know what i was gonna get i kind of just needed output at that point i was like i need lots of beats this is seems like a fun way to do it but i only really saw feedback from people long after i was done with all the challenges it's funny during the time i would post each day and no one would see it no one would comment no one would do anything mm. and then when i'd get to the end i'd get a few people that were like oh snap you made it to 100 oh that's that's dope mm. and then that's it uh, sure, there was the obvious thing of people being able to come back to the catalog and be like, yo, actually, I want to buy that one, that one, that one. Mm. That was nice. But in terms of like the feedback and all of that, that came long after I was done. So I started with the first one in 2017 in October. Uh, was it 2018? Possibly. I think it was 2018. October. And then I did another one in May or March. Did another one in June. I think I did four, if I'm not mistaken. But after all of that, it definitely, definitely, definitely did help. What I probably would have wanted is more, um, more, more cutaway content. Um, it would have been things like short videos of me making a beat, yeah, um, as opposed to just posting the beat. So what? Because there was a lot of um, what's this thing? There was a lot of output. I had to very quickly come up with a um, uh, what's this thing called? My words. A piece of art. Yeah. yeah and it became tough for me to always do it so what i did is i cre created a few generic ones and i just posted those ones yeah so i think in addition to that having sessions where i'll just have my camera up and i'll just continue working because there were points in my sessions where i'm like damn that was actually pretty dope mm. no camera around no camera yeah. <laughs> no nothing yeah. to pick anything up so, so basically creating mm. content out of your content exactly which is taking breaking it down into even smaller little pieces exactly um you might have even had a like i it sounds crazy now, but like mm. you might have even had an interview with yourself. Exactly. I'm on beat number what 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 now? Um, like a daily diary. Right? Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, oh, man, I'm struggling, man. I'm struggling I'm on with beat this. Thirty-two, and I, I'm stuck. Yeah, you know, exactly. things like that. Yeah. D documenting, 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 mm. and actually breaking it down even further and saying video diary, but then also now going into my written, and I'm just thinking, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I wasted all of that time because mm. I could have then done written content to say, yo. This is what I'm doing in a written mm. form because even today I still have blog readers. Mm. It's the weirdest. I'm like, who the hell is still You're reading still going blogs back to your blog now? Then over and above that, I could have yeah. then done podcasts and brought in other producers yeah. and be like, yo, this is what I'm trying. Yo, how do you feel about that? There would have been so many points of 
content creation and then you make all this long form stuff like what we're doing now long mm. form stuff sit with the producer sit with whoever it is and then chop, chop it up, up into little pieces and different segments and huh. all with a phone or the phone or uh, the phone everything we've spoken about so far is possible yeah. with a phone mm. um forget everything else that's available to you but a phone is, is mm. it's your base it's it's your manager it can be your it can launch your entire career just mm. Off your phone everything we've spoken about so yeah what happens when it's what happens when it's it becomes tough because i'm just i'm thinking back and i'm like Phew, i wasted time but there were points where i was just either tired i was burnt out i felt like yo i'm doing a lot already as it was i was like man i'm already creating 100 beats like give me a break what do you then say to someone like that because i'm being hard on myself yeah yeah but what more then can i do okay and this is something mm. I'm glad you asked me because I thought about it also in the last few days mm. where the last three weeks I've been trying to make content consistently mm. and I have had tired days. I have had the, I had a, what you call it? I was sick um, for three you days. You are before. sick. I am not sick. No, no. <laughs> let me just clarify on that. <laughs> uh, the problem was in my stomach. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I had reflux. Oh. And reflux burnt, literally burned my throat. Yeah. Mm. Get, get that bad. It burns your throat and you end up coughing. So that's where it comes. I wasn't even sick. No fever, nothing. Mm. So, so yeah, that's, that's what happened. But in these three days, what I said to myself was, make one thing. Mm. That's what I said. I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't it? Just find the easiest thing you can do and make one bit of content. And if you sit in that mindset... Mm. And just say to yourself, one thing a day. Yes, it's going to feel like you're not doing enough, but that's 365 bits of content. Mm. And next, it might not work out well for this year because it's so slow. But next year, someone comes along and says, geez, there's 365 bits of content on this man's page. Yeah, what is, yeah, what is going on here? Like, there's clearly mm. something going on here. So, mm. yes, it will make things slower, but you've just got to look into the future and be like, if I do this today... It's going to contribute to something further mm. down the line. All that other volume just means things happen faster. I think it really does matter. When you increase the volume, I think things happen faster. And people see that, hey, something's happening here and they want to call other people and they want to share your content and they want to do everything uh, mm. because it's happening faster. But if you have to have downtime, like on your days where you, you didn't feel like making a beat, you could have done those sessions where mm. you just talk about it with your phone, even lying in your bed and be like, mm. Yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm so down, tired. Yeah. I'm tired mm. and I don't want to make a beat. And it's for this reason, what, 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 mm. and post it. People would have accepted that. I realize now people would have accepted that. Mm. And they probably would have wanted to join the journey even more. Mm. Yeah, like, Yo, this man, person is going through Yo, it. Yo, it's going through it. And, but mm. we want to see you finish that mm. beat tape, man. Or Everyone watch likes an underdog challenge. story. Yeah, exactly. Everyone likes an underdog exactly. story. Exactly. And I, that's what it does. When you share your, your content, it says, mm. well, this person isn't winning at the moment. Mm. But, but I, I really think, want them yeah, to I win. Yeah, I really want them to win. Yeah. Anything you share is like, oh, this person's not winning. Because they don't see the Ferrari. They don't see a, a, a mansion that you're living. They see your everyday life. And they're like, mm. yo, he hasn't made it yet to where he should be, but I believe he should be there. Mm. And then boom, they... Or not, and I want to see him fail. <laughs> there is <Yeah>. that <laughs> asshole. There is that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> And those oh, people are those are the those best. Those people are there. Those yo, are the best. Yeah. Yo, I forgot. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah, man. So I'm just thinking because on those there were days when I was like, I don't want to make beats. But for me, it was a case of I need to literally make twelve ideas, ten to twelve ideas a day, and mm. I'd get to the. There would be, be days where I'm like, I'm on five ideas, and I've had, I've made twelve ideas for the past seven days, and I am, I'm done. Like up here, I'm finished. Yeah. But I still want to do more. Mm. Now I'm just, I don't even know if that's, if you can deem that overachieving, but I still want to do more. And I'm just thinking, had I brought, because that was all me at that point, the the videos, the all of that stuff was all me. I'm thinking, had I had a situation where I was bringing people in, and I learned this late, I learned this at the point of the pandemic, when yeah. we were forced indoors, I learned that you can't do it by yourself. Any real big idea that you want, you can't do it by yourself. Had I had a situation where I would then, of those 12 ideas, I would take seven and I'd send them off to people to mm. complete. They would have their own stories. I'd say, I'm sending them to you on one condition, that you make a video of what you've done and that you send me 30 seconds of you saying something. You know, mm. These ideas coming now. They send mm. me content. Now, other people yes. have made the yes. content for me that they can post, I can post, yes. and I don't feel so bad. Because now I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, on those days when I felt like I have this problem where, and I guess it's what keeps me going. I've got this problem um, 
where when I get to what I need to get done for the day, I'll do ten. I'll be like, today I'm doing ten things, and I'll do ten things, and I'll be like shoot it's only 4 p.m mm. and i'll be like man i can fit as, i can fit in five more things i do mm. five more things it's 11 i'm like man i'm having a great day and i want to put in more things and i'm just like shit i'm tired and i want to sleep yeah. and then at that point is my point of me thinking that i've failed myself this is some even though you've done like 15 things yes right i've gone past 100 percent of yeah. what i need to get done for the day it's an issue it's an internal issue that yeah. i have but i'm just thinking that i would save myself so much i would have saved myself so much trouble had i brought people into it to say look I have this issue please help me past it i'm gonna make 10 pieces of content i'm gonna work freaking hard but i'm gonna need you just to throw in an extra two and yeah, yeah using those same methods it's, yeah yo so collaboration basically yeah. the collaboration will, is will, will, will help you push through the the tough times exactly whether you feel like you're underdoing or whether you feel like you're overdoing yeah. it's always yeah. going to be the case nice yeah dude cool i don't know do i end it there let me wrap it up yeah.